and welcome to our coffee mug craft program. This video will help you with painting the perfect mug with your lovely paint pens. Um, also, if you're below the fifth grade, you'll want an adult to help you out just because we will be using an oven. So here I have a mostly finished mug. Um, I'm just going to add some finishing touches and then we can go over how to bake these mugs and make the design more permanent. So, also be careful with your paint pens. They are oil based, which means they will stain if they get on your clothes. If you do happen to make any mistakes on the mug though, rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip can help get rid of it and use kind of like an eraser, like a little effect. Um, so you'll want to shake up your pen and then after you've shaken it up very well, you're going to take off the top and you're going to press it down a little bit. I just use the cap because it's convenient. You can really use uh, anything, just don't do it on the table because <laughs> it will stay there most likely forever. Um, use like a, a paper plate or something would probably be a good option, maybe a few of them stacked up um, with a cap like I'm doing if you can feel like you can do that. So do that, you'll get some paint um, flowing all the way to the top of it. Once you have that paint there, um, it's really easy to draw with these. So you can just add a little finishing touch, like maybe something around the bottom here, like so. Uh, it is easy to hold the inside of the mug while you're going and just flip it around a little bit. As you can see it, there we go. Just a little bit going on right here all the way around the very busy mug has a lot going on all right so once you have uh your design pretty much done um oh also make sure that your design is um is not inside the mug or around the rim where anyone will be drinking out of so, after you have your paint on there, it's all good to go. You're going to let your mug sit for 24 hours. Uh, seems like a long time. It will go by pretty quickly. I'm gonna set mine right here on this little sheet of paper. There we go. Okay, so once it has sat for 24 hours, meaning you can pause this video and come back to it later, or you can just keep watching and know how to do it all in one go. Um, you're going to be baking your mug. So grab your adult if you already haven't and place your mug on a rimmed baking sheet. Um, you will want a rimmed baking sheet so it's easier to grab out of the oven instead of trying to fumble with a hot mug in oven mitts. That would be a very bad idea. Um, so place your mug on the baking sheet into a completely cold oven. Do not preheat it, um, at all. Once it is in the cold oven, shut it. Then you can turn the oven on to 375 degrees. Let that heat up with the mug inside. Once it is preheated, you're going to let the mug bake for 25 minutes. Um, and all of this information is also included in your kit, so don't worry. Um, you can always refer back to that um, if you have any questions. After the 25 minutes, you will turn the oven off, leave your mug inside the oven, um, let it cool. Uh, if you take it out too quickly, um, it could crack the mug, so you just wanna let it in there. This takes about two hours for a oven to completely cool down. Uh, that's my oven at home. I don't know how long your oven is. Refer to your adult for that. They will most likely know. And if they don't, general rule is two hours. So once the mugs are cool, you can wash them. Um, please only wash them in soapy water. Uh, do not put them in the dishwasher. That will make the design scratch off. Be careful with what you wash them with. Your hands are perfectly adequate to wash them, or you can use a towel. Um, and yeah, 
there you have it. You have your very own special one of a kind handy dandy painted mug. There you go. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and hope to see you next time. Bye.